What's up, everybody? Do you want to catch more fish with your phone? That's not what I meant, Chris. The first app that you have to have on your phone, because it just may save your life, is the Windy app. Let's check it out. You'll be able to check live radar, check storms, see what's coming in the next couple hours or throughout the day. You'll also be able to check your wind speeds, your wind gust. You can see throughout the day, hour by hour, when the heaviest wind times are going to be. And if you want to change this from knots to miles per hour, you just hit your profile, go to settings, hit units, and then you can select miles per hour. You can change your um, temperature gauge and all that. And then you'll be able to see hour by hour what the temperature will be. So with this, you'll be able to see your barometric pressure. So you'll be able to see if it's rising or falling. You'll also be able to see their wind, you know, their wind direction. Notated two different spots here. Um, hour by hour is very big because you never know if it shifts what the waves are going to end up being like on the water. So you never really know what the water is going to be doing until you're actually on the water. But here are two good apps that I like to use so I at least have an idea of what to expect. All right, first app up is Flow Alert. You can see there's a lot of different states you can choose from here as well as a lot of different bodies of water. Uh, a lot of places have multiple locations if it's, especially if it's a river but you can see the flow which is your cfs as well as your water stage so you can see if the water's falling or rising or if it's been maintaining All right. next up is the tva or tennessee valley authority if you fish the tennessee river or a lot of areas around that you'll be able to see what the dams are letting out as far as flow and how many generators are rushing. A lot of states now are going digital, making apps that are going to make your fishing trips that much better. You can do a lot of research on specific waterways before you ever go. Or if you're planning a trip out of state, they have apps too. So check them out. So with the Kentucky app, we have a list of all of our fins maps, which are public stocked lakes ponds that you can go to they have a full list of lakes and rivers that you can choose from here's one that i'm going to be fishing here very soon so i can go on to it and see some information about it see what kind of fish are in it and what the ratings are i'm looking for bass this upcoming weekend so i see that this lake here has a decent bass population I can see that they have an access ramp, what the fishing regulations are, if they're different from the state regulations, and obviously the boating regulations, are they different than what the statewide are, which some lakes are. Um, you may be, have to have a, a electric motor or 9.9 .9 or something like that, no wake lakes. Uh, with this, you also get the complete fishing guide, which we'll go into. You can buy your fishing license. Um, you have the book that you was always able to get at Walmart or any sporting goods store right at your fingertips. So you're able to look up any all the general information. You can be you can get into what the regulations are for specific sea species here. That way you know what your daily creel limits are or what the possession or size limits are for various species throughout your, your state. A lot of states are going to have the same information. I'm showing you my states. This is a big one here. Being able to identify your fish. You know, for those of you that still can't distinguish between a channel cat and a blue cat, here you go. So get the information for your trophy fish and and even your state record fish. You'll be able to see boating regulations. Boating would how to operate a boat, um, 
Again, you're able to go on here, you can buy a fishing license or you can pull up a current one. Um, we can go in and this will take you straight to the DNR website where you can purchase your new one for the upcoming year. Um, and you can also be able to pull up right from your phone in case the DNR was to stop you and check you. You can pull it up, show them, and go on your way. All right, the last two apps that I have for you today are Navionics and Google Earth. Let me explain to you why these are important and how they can benefit you on the water. Uh, the Navionics app. I think most people know this app, but if you're going to, especially to a lake, and trying to figure out the best places to fish, here you go. You'll be able to find all of your flats, your ledges, you know, where you are able to launch from. You, if you hover over different icons on here, you'll see this gives you the ramp information, Holcomb's Landing, but you're able to find stuff that you don't want to go over, rocks. You're able to look at stuff like marinas. Again, just hover over any of these icons you see. Hit the question mark, it'll tell you what it is. You can look at uh, different views. You can look at the nautical chart, sonar charts, even a satellite view so you can see what the surroundings are. Um, maybe you want to take a little closer look into the creeks and stuff like that. You can also see the weather. You know, there's other apps like the Windy app as well, but this will help. You can see the wind direction as well. On rivers, typically they're not spot on, but or even mapped at all. You have to rely on what other people have downloaded on the Navionics.com, but it still gives you a good perception of what the ledges and stuff look like, or if you're looking for the lateral buoys there, make sure you're within them. Another thing that you may want is if you get hungry, you can look for restaurants, hooters, and some cool things you might find like that, the wreck, you know, that's an old shipwreck. Uh, the other app, Google Earth, this is another really good app to use. Um, it's a nice three-dimensional view that you can kind of look around. There's another thing that we wouldn't want to run over with as a sandbar. Um, you can really see a, an in-depth picture of what you're going to go fish. So if you're planning a trip, you've never been there, and you're doing your research on where to fish, these tools here will give you an edge and hopefully get you on fish quicker if you're putting them all together. You can find different locations, holes, um, figure out where your flats are going to be, figure out where your holes might be, where your river or creek outlets come, come out into the, the main body of water, and then you can already have a plan before you ever get there. So hopefully everybody finds this video helpful. There are a ton of great apps out there, but these are a few that I have found and used that I really think if you're using them correctly, not only will they help you get on fish faster, uh, but they can also really help you have a better day in the water and be much, much safer. So if you haven't already, find these apps now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we thank you for watching.